Happy Sunday. Whee! I did not come to you yesterday um, because I was busy and it was loud at my house and I was tired. Oh, gosh. Okay, so all the kids have gone home. It's Sunday afternoon. I just got back from an exercise class and I'm at Aldi because I need to buy stuff for the coming week. Um, I think the party was a success. I think everybody had a good time. My son had three of his friends over from school for his birthday party. His birthday's not until this coming week, but, you know, I said, you know, we can do the party this weekend. So, um, so he had three friends over, and so I spent all day, pretty much all day yesterday, well, yeah, all, let's see, they came over about, they started to, I think the first one arrived around noon, no, no, 11.30. And then they all were all there, and they were there all day yesterday, all night. And I think the last one went home about 11.30 this morning. So, woo-wee! My house was a wreck. Now, I told my son before, the, before we even planned this, I said, Now, you understand, whatever messes are made, what, you're going to have to clean the house up after this is over. I am not going to be cleaning up after anybody. Yes, ma'am, I understand. You will be cleaning the house. And he did. He did that. He got everything cleaned up. Um, he still has to sweep. He swept most of the downstairs, but he's got to sweep, go through one sweep one more time. He's going to have to mop. The floor definitely needs to be mopped. Um, yeah, they, they had a good time. They played video games. They watched movies. They did this thing, and I, I gave them permission to do it. My son had already asked me about it. He said, Mom, can we take my... He had this rolly suitcase that he used to carry his books and stuff in for school. He said, can we take it outside and, and just, like, beat it up? I have some baseball bats and stuff. Can we just beat it up? I said, like, a really sad pinata. He said, yeah, except all that's in it is balled up paper and leftover school supplies. I said, I mean, I guess. I don't want anybody to get, to get hurt. I don't want anything to get damaged, you know, other than the suitcase. So, there were some rules. So they all had fun just beating the crap out of a son old suitcase. I felt sorry for that poor thing. But then they had to clean up all the mess from it. And nobody got hurt. They all had a good time. They said it was more fun than, than a pinata. Like, okay. Um, and they, they played hide and seek last night. They turned off all the lights and they had flashlights. And they were playing hide and seek in the house. And they were loud and rambunctious. But you know what? I think they all had a really good time they did um they played some video games and watched a couple movies and so i had asked my son ahead of time i said now um what you know we got we had plenty of snacks and food and stuff i said what would they like to drink so he named like three different kinds of drinks so i went and got drinks funny thing is they didn't drink as much of the stuff as i bought they drank up all my pepsis somebody drank up all my pepsis and I had plenty of bottles of water in the refrigerator. They drank up all the bottles of water. I have no water left. I'm here to get more bottles of water. And I know some people say, well, you shouldn't be buying bottles of water. We drink bottles of water at my house, okay? We recycle the bottles, but that's just what we do. We drink bottles of water at the house. So, I mean, don't judge me. <laughs> that's what we do. I'm sorry. Because my kids are on the go a lot. They'll just grab some bottles to take with them. I have reusable bottles. Sometimes they use those. Sometimes they don't. Anyway, I had these bottles of water at my house, and um, they all got drunk up. I have no water left, and then they I had a gallon of water. They drank up my gallon. I had, I had more. I don't know why my son didn't get more out, because I have more gallon bottles, you know. I'm going to get a couple more of those. Anyway, um, they drank up my Pepsis. I was a little pissed about that. I went downstairs this morning like, where the hell are my Pepsis? Somebody drank all my damn Pepsis. I bought drinks for them. They drank mine. Well, shit. I did not specify. I guess I should have specified, like, leave these Pepsis alone. These are mine. That's like my coffee, man. I don't drink coffee. When I get up in the morning, that's what I want. I got up this morning. I had no coffee. Basically, it's like my coffee. Like, ah. So, um. If you want to know how much I love my son, I went to Costco on a Saturday afternoon for pizza because that's he wanted Costco pizza yesterday, like a late lunch slash early dinner. So I went to Costco on a Saturday afternoon. That place is crazy on Saturday afternoons. I was reminded why I don't go on Saturdays because it was nuts. 
man, I felt like a salmon fighting upstream just trying to get to where the kiosk is to order the pizza. Forget trying to call. You can call ahead and order. The hell you can. Nobody in there answers the phone. Don't even bother. You just go into the kiosk and order it there. So I ordered two pepperoni pizzas, the big pizzas, you know, and one that was half pepperoni, half cheese. And, um, they didn't eat as much of it as I thought they would. Now, they ate up all my other snacks. I had, I had like six different kinds of chips and, and Doritos. And we had baby carrots. We had pickles. We had um, popcorn chicken, uh, chips and salsa. They ate a bunch of that. They ate up all, pretty much all of that. They ate all my cupcakes. Most of the birthday cake was consumed. It was hacked into unceremoniously while I wasn't even in the room. I didn't even get to participate. There was no singing of happy birthday, which my son said he didn't want anyway. He said, I don't want any candles on the cake. Please don't sing happy birthday to me, Mom. That's embarrassing. I'm not a little kid anymore. So I didn't sing happy birthday, which was kind of sad because I always do. I'm, I, will, I will subject him to it on his actual birthday, though, because I, I have to sing it to you at some point. And give you your little birthday spanking, whether you want it or not. Of course, he's as tall as me now. He could probably get away from me, and I wouldn't be able to do anything. But they hacked into the cake. They said the cupcakes and the cake were really good. They really enjoyed it. They thought the cake was very cool. Um, so that was nice. He got some money for his birthday. So he wants to go spend his birthday money. I said, well, I gotta go to my class. I went to a class. I said, look, you gotta keep cleaning up. He has to clean his room, vacuum upstairs, do some more work downstairs. I said, you gotta keep cleaning while I'm gone. And I gave him a list of things to finish by the time I got back. I said, we're not going to spend your birthday money until you do these things. So he's working on that. He's probably done by now because I've been gone for uh, almost two hours because <laughs> I had to go do some other stuff too. Um. So then we're going to go spend his birthday money. Then we have to go back home and he has to finish sweeping and mop the downstairs. So, yeah, um, I think they had a good time. The kids were very well behaved. They were up kind of late. They kept me up. I didn't get to sleep till about 3 o'clock this morning because they were being kind of rowdy and loud downstairs. And they just would not go to sleep. Like, no, they just didn't want to go to sleep. I know how it is. I remember having sleep, you know, going to sleepovers at that age. And, you know, you just, it's so fun. It's, oh my gosh, there's just something about it that's just so fun. And I wanted them to, you know, be able to experience that and enjoy it. I did just, I had to ask them to keep it down. Like, come on. I'm like, I'm, my bedroom is right above where y'all are. Can you just not? Anyway, I think they had a good time. So, um, I'm going to go in here and get more stuff and I have to get lunch stuff for the coming week for myself and for my kids because they're almost basically done with school my younger son's almost done he's not quite done yet my older son is done he's totally done um like done done and he's um he's got some time to himself before he starts his full-time job so He's just enjoying a little downtime, and he's going to get together with some of his friends. They're going to, they're going to do like this big bonfire with all their school stuff because they're they're done, and they're going to just like burn all of their school stuff. It's safe. They have a place to do it where they can have a big bonfire, kind of out in the country, and it's it's okay. There will be supervision. So yeah, so they're doing that, and he's just enjoying a little bit more freedom before he starts his full time job. So. Everything, everything is good. It's a little chilly today. And I know yesterday, oh, oh God, oh God, yesterday, it got up to almost 90 yesterday. It was hot and it was humid, like the humidity had kicked in. There's no sleeve on this side. I hate putting on a hoodie in the car. It's damn near impossible. You'll end up with a dislocated shoulder. There we go. It was hot as hell and I wanted to get out and mow the yard. The weirdest thing, I hate it when this happens. So yesterday at about, I got back with the pizza and so I was gonna, I got back with the pizza and then I was gonna eat a little bit because I had anything to eat, I was a little hungry. So we all had some pizza and then I was gonna go out and mow the backyard. Well, I was up in my room, I had to put on my work pants and I'm, I ch I'm up there changing pants and I heard this noise and I thought, what is that? It sounds like rain. I thought there's there's not this sunny. It's like there are no clouds. Like the matrix has glitched because there are no clouds and it's raining. It's like pouring rain. Like 
where's it coming from? And it rained really hard for about five minutes. And so then everything was drenched. And then after the rain stopped, oh God, it was like a sauna outside. It was steamy and hot. Oh my Lord, it was awful. But I went out there and I did a little bit of yard work and mowed the backyard anyway. Fortunately, after that, it started to cloud up and then it didn't feel quite so hot because you didn't have the sun and that steaminess. So it was still kind of steamy, but it wasn't as hot. And uh, I, uh, yesterday, I've been wearing my Fitbit every day. Yesterday, just doing what I was doing, I got almost 13,000 steps yesterday. <laughs> just doing what I do like oh my god that's crazy now part of that was mowing the backyard so there's a lot of a lot of steps there but whew, I thought that was pretty good I won't make it today no I won't get that many today I'm only at 6800 and it's already what time is it it is we don't know what time it is it doesn't want to tell me oh my Fitbit is being stupid hold on a second it is 3.19 in the afternoon, so yeah, I'm not going to, I will definitely not get that many today, but I'm going to go in there and get some food to replenish everything, and my son is probably at home just champing at the bit. I'm surprised he hasn't texted me, like, why are you not back? He is, money just burns a hole in his pocket. I've been trying to work with him on that, like, dude, you have to learn to save your money. You can't just spend it, you know, you could just save it. No, I don't want to save it. I was the same way. I had a really hard time learning to save money. I did learn, but it was hard. But he wants to go spend his birthday money. And so we're going to go do that in a little bit. And um, yeah, and then I have to paint my nails. I have to edit that, that cake video so I can have it ready for tonight. And other than that, I'm just going to relax. I'm not going to do a whole lot. I'm just going to goof off and try to take it easy. Now that it's, it's calm and peaceful in my house again. It was just crazy all day yesterday. And all night and I have not had enough sleep and I'm I'm tired but I'm I'm hanging in there <laughs> so anyway the party was great they loved the cake they loved the cupcakes they loved all of it I think they all had a good time so it was awesome but now it's time to get back to back to normal but I hope your weekend has been good the cats were traumatized. They all stayed in my room for most of the night last night. They're all they're like, I don't like all the noise. All the extra people. Ah. They were not happy about it. Pumpkin stayed in there. She stayed in there all night. The other one the other two stayed in there most of the night. Um yeah, they were upset. They didn't like all that extra racket. Like, why are these people here, mommy? So they're very relieved to have peace and quiet again. Oh, I'm trying to see. I do have a quarter. I do have a quarter. I got my Aldi quarter. I have to get my bags out of the trunk. I have my money. I have my keys. And da da da. And, uh, yeah. And so hopefully I will be able to put the cake video up tonight. I kind of wanted to do a different video for tonight. That's not really the one I want to post tonight. I wanted to do a whisper video. But I may just wait and do that Monday night. Um, my schedule this week is going to be kind of hectic. But I'm going to try to make videos as many nights as I can for the other channel. But I have I have several things going on this week and this coming Saturday. So um, I'm going to do what I can. But I, I, I really enjoy it. I enjoy making videos. I like doing it. I wish I had more time. I don't really have a lot of time. Like, you know, like I used to have. I don't really have that anymore. But... I try to take advantage of the time I do have so yeah I enjoy it and I, like I've always said if the time ever comes that I don't enjoy it anymore then I'll either change what I'm doing or do it less often or something but for now I, I really dig it and I enjoy it so it's been a good weekend um, it was it was good the kids were all very well behaved they were all very nice and one of them I had not met before. The other two had come over. Pre I had met them before. They've come over to, to hang out. I think only one of them has ever spent the night, though. They, but they all three spent the night last night. And I think, they had a, I think they had a good time. So I like to give them some, you know, just a nice memory, you know. Because I, I don't think, I mean, I, maybe I'm wrong. But it seems like this generation of kids doesn't really do sleepovers as much as mine did. I mean, that was that was so 
that was such a big part of my childhood. It was so exciting to go spend the weekend or spend the night with your friend and then they come spend the weekend with you or like they'd come over after school Friday and then stay like Friday night, Saturday night and then go home Sunday. I mean, that was something that we just did and, and anymore, I don't know that it's that common and it was just so great. I really enjoyed it and I just, for whatever reason, people just don't do it that much anymore. And they talk about, oh, it's more dangerous now. It was never completely danger free. I mean, you know, things could have happened back then too. And I don't want to get into a whole debate about whether it's more dangerous now than it was 30, 40 years ago. I mean, you know, shit happened back then too. It wasn't totally safe back then either. We didn't live in, you know, Pleasantville. I mean, it, you know, shit could have happened to you then too. But I just hate. I don't know. For whatever reason, I just hate that kids don't seem to get to experience that anymore because it was really, it was a really great part of my childhood and I would hate to be deprived of that for any reason. So, but anyway, they had a good time. <laughs> they really thought the, the tank cake was, was cool. So I, I got a big thumbs up. They all liked it. They said, that's really, that's a, that's an awesome cake. So <laughs> that made my day. But thank you so much for watching and for being here. I got to get in there and get my stuff and get home before my son starts just like rapidly texting me and like, oh my God, mom, where are you? why are you taking so long? I make him wait sometimes on purpose because he needs to learn some patience. He needs to learn to wait. You shouldn't jump to whenever your kids tell you to. It's a, you get them used to it. It's just like with your pets. I hate to compare my kids to my pets, but my cats, they love, the highlight of their day is I, I take a, a, one of the small containers of Sheba wet food, one of the segments, and I split it up for them. I just take the one and split it amongst them every morning, and that's all the wet food they get. Um, I used to give, give them one in the morning and one in the evening, but it's just gotten so expensive. I've just cut it back to once a day. Um, I don't, get, as soon as I come downstairs in the morning, I do not give it to them as soon as I get downstairs. I make them wait. I will start a load of laundry. I feed the outside cats. I do other, like, I am not going to jump right on it as soon as I get down here. And the vet was the one who actually told me that you need to do that, you know, every day. Do not jump right on it because they will grow to expect it and they will, you know, they need to learn that they need to wait. So I kind of do the same thing with my kids. They need to learn some patience. And I don't jump to every time they want me to do something. Mm -mm. I don't, I've never done that. And I won't do that. And, you know, I just don't think you should. But I'm not here to give parenting advice. I'm just here to say have a happy Sunday. <laughs> I'm no parenting expert and I'm not going to claim I am. I just do. I do things my way. I mean, everybody's kids are different. Different things work with different kids. I'm not going to sit here and judge anybody on any of it because... Having kids is a very humbling experience. It really is. You, you really think you know it all. You really think you know how you're going to raise your kids until you actually have them. And yeah, it's a different ball game then. So anyway, I'm going to shut up now. Happy Sunday to you. I hope your weekend has been good. And I hope you have a good week coming up. And I'll see you again soon.